Yo, what is going on today, guys? It is Sam here, and today we are back on Mango MC. And I'm gonna be talking to you guys today about a topic that is I kind of am uh, pretty passionate about, or yeah, I'd say I'm pretty passionate about it. And that topic's gonna be net neutrality and the recent repeal of it, and kind of how it might, keyword might, affect you and how it really affects me as a creator. I'm gonna go into my opinions about it, uh, but first off, I want you guys to do your own research about the subject and kind of learn things for yourself in life. Anything that has anything to do with politics, you need to research it for yourself because unfortunately in our day and era, it's becoming less and less about the truth and more and more about whichever helps or which party, which is why I don't really like the party system, to be totally honest, like conservative or Republican and, and Democrat. I really dislike it because people tend to disagree People tend not to formulate their own ideas and thoughts about certain things, and they only they only agree with it if it if it lines up with what their party believes in, which I think is a really really bad thing that's happening with my generation. So that's why I don't identify with a party. I think it's silly. I simply state my own opinion about individual issues, and I formulate my opinions on my own. So before we get into net neutrality, I want to give you guys a bit of a heads up about Mango MC. I told you guys I'd find a recording time so when I, I when I record my next video, so you guys could come on when I'm actually recording. So I'm actually gonna be recording my next video on Mango MC at Friday at about 10 a.m. I know if you guys have school, I'm sorry, but that's the time that works best for me. Uh, so I'll be on Mango MC. The IP is down in the description. Um, at about 10 a.m. on Friday, if you guys want to be in the video, that is gonna be your chance. And yeah. Briefly as well, before we get into this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about warping and stuff on here. There's a ton of warps. I'm not sure if they actually list. Here, here's all the warps that you guys can go to, so be sure to check them out. There's a mob maze, which is apparently pretty cool, which I think I'm going to check out in the next video. Uh, but there's a ton of really fun, awesome stuff on here. Uh, I can't really go mining right now because the A mine was empty a minute ago, and I was out in the PvP mines in the video I just recorded on here that sadly was corrupted, lol. And this noob right here uh, came out and somehow killed me, even though I hit him more times and he hit me um, but he was like disguised as a bunny and he came out and hit me so this guy's gonna camp me because you know youtuber by the way and so i'm just gonna chill over here for a bit so net neutrality i'm sure you guys have heard a ton about it recently and you probably want to know like what like what, what's going on with it if you guys don't know a lot of you probably do know but just in case you don't i'm gonna start with the basics all right, so according to Wikipedia, net neutrality is the principle that internet service providers must treat all data on the internet the same and not discriminate or charge differently, keyword, must and not discriminate or charge differently, differently by user, content, website, platform, application, type of attached equipment, or method of communication. For instance, under these principles, internet service providers are unable to intentionally block, slow down, or charge money for specific websites and online content. All right, so what does that mean? Basically, what that means is they cannot, they can, I said memes, oh my God. Basically, what that means is that your internet service provider cannot charge you based off what websites you are visiting or how much data you are using after visiting said websites, right? So if you go on YouTube or, you know, uh, Netflix or whatever, or Twitch, you are using much more data because you're downloading or streaming content to your PC. That takes way more data than, say, visiting your school website to look at your homework list or homework schedule for the week, right? It takes way more data because you're actually downloading movie files or streaming movie files or gameplay to your computer. So basically, if net neutrality is repealed, which it was by the FCC, but the Congress still has to vote on it, uh, it opens up the door for your ISP to charge you based off how much data you are using or certain websites you are going to. So the reason why I don't want that to happen is, yes, I'm partial and I'm biased on this, is because I'm a YouTuber, right? If I, and the whole pitch of YouTube is that it's free viewing content. All you have to do is watch ads, right? And that's how we make our revenue. But if people have to pay to get access to the site or pay more money, there is generally like 100% guaranteed going to be less people watching videos. So that ends up hurting creators like me and especially Twitch broadcasters because in Portugal, uh, where there are no net neutrality regulations, uh, Twitch viewership drastically slowed down from, it was a stat that Twitch tweeted out, right? So if you are a content creator like myself, I'm pretty sure that every single content creator out there is going to be against net neutrality. The only people who really win from net neutrality are going to be your, er, from not from, from repealing net neutrality are going to be your ISPs. And I'm going to get into a big reason why I don't want net neutrality to be repealed. 
So one of the major reasons that I don't want net neutrality to be repealed is because I don't trust the ISPs as far as I can throw them, okay? These are the same people that sold cable packages to America for the past 50 years, and they were totally shamming everybody that entire time. They've limited your options and kept the price very, very high because they had essentially monopolies. They're, they're about as close to you can get as a monopoly like in the history of our nation, right? The last time monopolies I think were cracked down on might have been like AT&T a few years ago um, and, and the old phone companies back when I, I, I might be wrong there. So please research it on your own. And if I am wrong, please let me know in the comments and, and correct and, and add on and elaborate on what I say. I, I'm hoping to see a very healthy discussion in my comment section. But yeah, like I said, I don't trust the ISPs as far as I can throw them. They've been shamming us and throttling us with internet packages since, you know, for, for a long time. In terms of what we were paying for in bytes compared to, I think that's the proper term, byte. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me, like I said. But in terms of what we were paying for for our download speeds here, as of, you know, the last few years compared to Europe, I think we're paying at least 10 times as much per, like, per gig. So something ridiculous. They, they have fiber optic in, in in Europe, very very cheap everywhere, and we had to, we were having to pay quite a bit here for like I was paying like you know 100 bucks a month. My family was for like a 20 down and a two upload. Like that's absolutely terrible. And I'm not in the middle of nowhere. I'm in Kentucky, but I'm in one of the most populated cities in Kentucky. So I live in a pretty big city. Like I live in Lexington, Kentucky. If you guys don't know, so like it's not a small city. It's got 400,000 people. There should be good internet here, but like we were and I'm, uh, it, it's very silly. And so while we're getting, why, why are they, these companies getting away with selling a bad product for a high price? Or why were they anyway? It's because they basically have monopolies. It's illegal for me in my state to start up an ISP, which is absolutely a monopoly. So like Spectrum basically has a monopoly in my city. So it's like the only place I can buy stuff from. Well, Sam, there's, there's other providers in the area. Yeah, there's like Windstream, okay? And the Windstream product is so bad, you really can only buy from, from Spectrum. That's the only place that you can buy from, right? They even rebranded from Time Warner Cable because their branding had such a bad reputation because they were basically scamming people, right? So the, like the, the deals they were giving were so bad, they literally rebranded. And now sure, Spectrum might be better, but I still don't trust these guys. I don't even want to give them the opportunity to start charging us for that, at, at least while they basically have a monopoly on my area, right? If there was healthy competition, like capitalism is supposed to be, and there were other possibilities and other options I had to buy my internet packages from, they wouldn't be able to jack the prices so high, right? But right now, there's really not. There's no other competition. So if we repeal net neutrality, the internet companies are going to have full control over what they can throttle and not throttle in the internet. And in my eyes, that's handing over the entire modern world to the ISPs where they can throttle and regulate everything as they wish. And I don't trust them enough to do that. I, I, I honestly think that the best way for America to grow as a technology powerhouse is to have an unrestricted internet, an unthrottled internet. And in order for that to happen, we can't give control over the internet to the ISPs. It should be in the hands of the people because it's a big public place. and. I, I don't know. I see why some of the ISPs want, want it. Well, I mean, they're going to make a bunch of money. That's why they want it. At the end of the day, I think America as a, as a country benefits more from leaving the internet as a free place and an and unrestricted place, an unthrottled place than if we, if we repeal net neutrality as a whole and just give it over to the ISPs. Like, I don't trust them enough. I don't think they should have that kind of power over the internet. And I, I like the free internet. It's so much more, it's so much better for content creation. It's so much better for games. It's so much better for just a growing America. And I, I don't know, I, that, that's, those are just kind of my two cents on it. And now sadly, this has become like kind of a partisan thing where, you know, a lot, where everyone's like, it's Trump's administration rather than it's just a bad thing. Yes, Ajit Pai, the head of the FCC, who actually w was the tiebreaker vote, who by the way, if you guys did not know, was actually a big time lawyer for Verizon, uh -huh, thinking, which also, if you guys didn't know, Verizon would probably make a ton of money off of it, net neutrality being repealed because they could charge a ton. Now, uh, but again, a couple companies have come out and said that they don't plan on doing that, but again, I don't really trust them, so no. And again, I'm not trying to say like he's corrupt or anything. I, it, it makes complete sense for an ex-Ryzen lawyer to want to repeal net neutrality. Like it just makes a ton of sense like that. He made a really cringy video um, talking about how, like seven things you can still do on the internet after net neutrality has been repealed. And he's like, after these post-Obama regulations, like it doesn't matter if it was 
made in Obama's administration, right? Like it doesn't matter. What matters is if it was good or bad. That's what matters. And everybody's trying to make it all about parties. And it, it just triggers me because it takes away from the issue. Like focus on the issue at hand. Your, your political party doesn't matter, right? What matters is, is if this is going to help people or hurt people. And it just, I don't know, man, people are just, people are silly. People are, don't listen to their political nonsense. Look up to the issues on your own and, and come to your own conclusions about what you believe in and what you want. Uh, that's, that's the best advice I can give you guys. But like I said, I am not for the repeal of net neutrality. I like the free internet. I like unrestricted internet. I like, yeah, I feel like that's a big symbol of America is that we have like a, like a free roaming internet. And if we, if we repeal this, I, I have a feeling that it's not going to stay a free internet. Uh, and then everyone's like, uh, what, what the people who are wants to repeal net neutrality say is the internet was still fine in 2015. Like well, it's going to be fine again. But again, right now, this policy keeps the internet providers from throttling the internet, which is what was happening, right? It's what was happening before, like in terms of internet speeds. I'm not talking about the free web. In terms of internet speeds, my area, for instance, did not get good speeds. Well, you know, third world countries in Europe, and maybe not third world countries, but you know, countries that should not have better internet than the United States have fiber optic. And we're sitting here like, well, I have a 20 down, two up, and I'm paying more than they're paying for fiber optic. That makes no sense for America to be a powerhouse. That makes no sense, right? But I don't know. My stepbrother is very, very passionate about this. He is not an Ajit Pai fan, and his, his name's not pronounced Ajit, but I, I said Ajit the first time, and I can't stop pronouncing it improperly. But, you know, my stepbrother is very, very passionate about this, and he, uh... He is very angry, uh, as as he should be. So you guys, you guys need to be on watch because, uh, because look, the free internet might be coming to an end. Like the way the internet works now might be coming to an end. And I'm not saying it will for sure. So everybody who, I, I don't think any of you guys are for net, net neutrality being repealed. But if you are, I'm not saying it 100% will be. But I'm saying it opens up the, the door to the possibility of your ISP charging you based off what websites you're visiting and how much data you're consuming. So it basically enables them to make a lot more money while they throttle your connections and throttle smaller, smaller businesses do not win, right? So like my channel is considered a small business, right? My channel will lose for sure. Like I cannot compete or pay for better access. Well, I mean, I, I could be wrong here, so I'm not even gonna get into that, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave your comments down below. Please have a healthy discussion down below and, and be sure to add points that I may have missed or correct points that I might've said wrong. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys later, Friday, 10 a.m. Peace out.